What's going on my broskies, my name is Totski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today we're going to be having a look at the One Piece Treasure Cruise community update. Now we had no idea that this was going to be happening. Literally yesterday we just had a tweet go out saying, by the way, we have a community video going up. Now we don't know what is going to be shown off in this community update video, but the fact that it is titled a community update leads me to believe it's probably not going to show like actually too much. It might be our community manager, Yannicka, giving us a bit of an update as to very minor things um but this is very interesting just because we, we weren't expecting this and it's not too often that we get uh you know a video from the treasure cruise team so i'm excited to see what they're going to show off in this video and we're just going to react to it hopefully get some really really cool reveals or just something shown off um I, I wouldn't be shocked if they show off the new brook and frankie once again because we know that's coming it is the next batch to arrive as you know the fact is is that that's not a very exciting sugo fest batch so i don't think you know a lot of people would really appreciate that but i really don't know what to expect here it literally could be a range of different things but it would be nice if they show off at least something very minor just to get us a little bit excited for this so uh hopefully the reveal is good let's get this party started all right here we go the countdown is ready to go i believe that they actually tweeted out the video as well so the video is currently already out but we're here now we're gonna watch it on youtube what are we gonna get well it's very quiet hello nakama I am Yannicka. The there we go, our community manager, Yannicka. Today, I want to show you a quick update, as well as an early look at the- Early game. look at Grand, Grand Voyage. Voyage. Oh, damn, boy. So let's get started. Grand Voyage is a permanent event that gets unlocked after reaching pirate level- Ooh, baby. In which additional adventures will be added to the story mode of the game. The story the mode? Start in Fusha Village and follow oh, along damn. Each adventure- has some missions assigned to it, in which players can choose from different levels of Yo, hang on, 10 star difficulty in Future Village, hold up. Player missions will give mission points. Mission points? And the more difficult the mission, the more points you will receive. Ooh. Mission points can be used to obtain a variety of rewards, ranging from level limit break materials. Level limit break materials, the new system. Grand Voyage is slated to release at the end of April. End of April, all oh, right before the anniversary, that let's go. Right now, but Make sure to tune in for the next Oh, video okay. April. So, From there's going to be another producer video, which is great. Lunch. We look forward to hear your feedback, so please let us know what you think on our official social Okay. Media. All right, a little bit of a sneak peek there. Moving on. I have a campaign to announce. A new campaign? As some of you might have already seen in the in-game announcements, we'll be running a campaign in which players can receive super exclusive characters based on, based their, on pirate. their pirate level. I guess that's going to help with the These level limit break system. You can reach up to 100 super Wait, what? 100? We'll be running some events in the months from April to May, which will help you more easily increase your pirate okay. level speed. So make sure to take part and grow your pirate level. That's insane. A hundred? game announcements tomorrow, so be sure to check it. Another topic we quickly want to touch cheaters on. Cheaters and modders. Oh, no. We understand the frustration of cheaters and Yeah, this is a big game. one. For not only, and like, Kizuna, but Treasure Map as well. No place in One Piece Treasure Cruise. We want to let you know that we take this problem very serious, and we're actively working on improving our systems Good. to catch potential cheaters and modders. Good. We continue to work That's hard exactly to what we want to sure see. One Piece Treasure Cruise is a fair and fun experience for all of our players. We want to thank you for sharing feedback about topics such as cheaters and modders, as well as other topics that are important to you. Yep. Also, we're currently working hard on the Japanese. The eighth anniversary, boys! Let's go, dude! I can't wait to see what it's going to be about. Events and campaigns planned for all of our players, and we really hope that this will be an exciting and big celebration. That's, That's it? For me today. Oh, it's a very short video. Don't forget to tune in for the producer room in April about more information about the upcoming version update. I'll see y'all later. Bye bye. Wow. Okay, that was extremely short. I was not expecting it to be that short of a video, but that was really cool getting a really like early sneak peek at Grand Voyage. Let me turn off the CC for a sec. Okay, so. There's obviously the help stuff, main story, so it's going to be something via story mode, which is interesting, and you get rewards based on how difficult the quest is that you defeat. Hmm. Now, I wonder if it's like, so they're really going to make it a bit more interesting than that. I feel like maybe you get more points when you clear an adventure if you use certain characters. I think that would be cool. 
if it's story specific like again like if, if you're in future village and you're doing like the final quest versus like higuma or the sea monster or something and if you use a shanks character you get like more points so that it forces you to team build in a certain way to get around certain bosses in order to earn more points to ultimately get more rewards i feel like if they go down that route then grand voyage has a lot going for it for sure um i, I feel like I wonder if it's only going to be one story mode initially, or if they're going to do, like, literally all the story modes straight off the cuff. Um, I, I really hope that they give us a decent chunk at first, and maybe, like, once a month they just add a story mode to it, or once every two months they add, like, a new story mode with, you know, a bunch of quests that are going to be difficult. It does say, hey, F Future Village, it says 0 out of 5. I don't know if this means that there's 5 different events that you can beat, or maybe you can only get 5 attempts at it per day or something um it's it's probably well, actually i don't know because it says zero out of 25 maybe there's five story modes zero out of five i don't know if that's clears it's very hard to see actually down below there it says campaign under the crew menu so i don't know what that means why does it say campaign that's something that we haven't seen before maybe this is saying like you know during this campaign period you can get something to do with, you know, uh, special level up. Maybe it's like a 100% chance of skill up, and that's why they have the campaign there. Maybe it's for something else. That's very, very bizarre. We haven't seen that before. And then also the fact that they said that we're also going to be getting 100, uh, well, up to 100 is the maximum you can get, of free legend tickets. Uh, that's going to be really good for moving forward into this level limit break system, because as we know, you need duplicates of characters to unlock level limit break, and if you can just get a bunch of dupes for all of these legends to just get them to max level or close enough to, that's going to be really good. Um, the only real problem with that is the fact that they're giving away so many red tickets leads me to believe that the there's not going to be any limited structure to these tickets like it's just going to be any random red given out with a bunch of these tickets so it's not like we're going to get a red that's like 12 month release or you know 24 month release window uh, if that is the case then this might be one of the coolest events ever however considering the the just the, the sheer quantity of characters that we're going to be receiving it just wouldn't make sense if that's the case also something i want to touch up on before we end this video today is that i'll leave a link to this tweet down below in the description of the video in that if we get a certain amount of retweets for global and japan we actually receive 20 rainbow gems it says the period goes until march 28th so make sure to get uh, over to this tweet share it around so we can get those 20 rainbow gems which is obviously going to be good and i've already said in that video as well talking about the brook and frankie sugo fest you should probably be skipping this sugo fest conserving them for the eighth anniversary remember they they did mention it in the video eighth anniversary is just around the corner 12th of may mark it down in your calendars and we are expecting it to be a pretty big celebration uh you know with a super sugo fest multiple legend releases probably um we're expecting big things so definitely save your gems for that one but this is going to wrap up the video from me hopefully you guys have enjoyed it and if you guys did make sure to leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content that i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys i'll see you guys within the next video.